What's up, Astros? You're logging to the only channel for your gaming entertainment. I'm Chris, the Astros Gamer, and we are about to go up the creek in a video of Crash Bandicoot. Let's kick it. Alrighty. <laughs> of course it doesn't cost lives. But yeah, if you guys remember Tuesday's video, I am recording this right after Tuesday's video. And so I'm kind of slightly triggered, mostly because of the stuff that went down in the previous video. You, if you don't know what happened, just check it out and you'll be caught up on, on what happened. And I almost drowned. Yeah, I gotta be careful. But yeah, right now for today, I've entered a stage of, okay, now that I've failed so many times, the controls are even slippier, which is not that the controls are very slippy, I mean, it's not that the controls are slippier, it's the fact that, come on, bruh, it's not that the c controls are slippery, it's, I mean, yeah, it's not the fact that the controls are more slippery, it's the fact that I just need to chill for a second and let things flow naturally. So, we're going to see how we do in this video. Probably better than the previous video. It's also the stage that I was in. It's not the best stages in Crash Bandicoot, but it's one of the more challenging ones. That's for sure. He likes to... Ooh. I knew that was going to happen as soon as he started shaking. Huh, I wonder what's over there. Oh wait. Yeah, I think I know what's over there now. What? That wasn't even a body of water. What just happened? I was about to say, I, I didn't see anything, but I also saw the shadow, so... So I can just jump in this patch of grass. Okay, I'm so confused. Can't I not jump on the... Can I not jump on the lily pads or something? Or the whatever these things are? They aren't lily pads. And now I'm starting to mess up on the simplest of platform techniques. Platforms are fun. And then when it comes to messing up on the same section twice, it just starts to get annoying. Alright, sweet. Now I don't have to worry about this part again, hopefully. As I say, I know I had more than one at least. This thing tried to get an early start on me, what the heck? Oh man. Yeah, nice try. Let's oh, hope I don't fall in the water as I'm going into this bonus round. Ooh. 
Yeah, that was a bit tricky. And now I get these two lives right here. Yeah, that was that was tedious. Just saying. <laughs> What's wrong with him? It's like he was choking or something. <laughs> Get over here. And that's that box jump. Oh, I thought I missed it. Wait. Did I get it? I think I did because it disappeared. Yep, we're good. Too funny. It's just way too funny. And then we go to fight Ripperoo. Now, Ripperoo, I remember playing Ripperoo on this game and. It's very tricky. We're just gonna put it that way. Alright, there's number one. I think the I think the second yep, the second one's a diamond pattern. Or not exactly a diamond pattern, but I still got him. Now this should be the diamond pattern. Yep, that's the diamond pattern. Pattern. I almost said patterns. Myself over. Hey, I finally got him. I say I say it was tricky, but I didn't really have a lot of trouble with them. <laughs> Just falls off the river. Falls down, the, uh, falls down the creek that we climbed up. Lost City, let's go. Lost City, baby. Break every box without dying to earn a special gem. Now in this stage is very difficult to do. Actually, we're just gonna play the stage like normal. This one, because I know this stage is very difficult to beat without uh, dying. Oh yeah, to destroy. So to keep all those bats from flying around, you gotta destroy the bat on the left and the bat on the right. Yeah. 
but yeah, the reason why is because I've always had struggles with this map, and I've actually never did beat this uh, map without dying, so... That's why I'm going through this stage like normal. If, if you guys want me to get the gym for this, then it'll have to be sometime later on during the game, so... I kinda want that life though, the extra life. Ooh. I also kinda want the lump of fruit too. Yikes. I probably missed a ton of box somewhere because I totally didn't try to get some of these boxes. And I missed the Brio one. It'll be fine. Once again, I can come back to this later if you guys want me to to get the box gem. Or the color gem, I guess. Well, technically it is a... It's called a secret gem. The colored gems are called secret gem, and then the Silver ones are called box gems. And not all silver ones are box gems. Some si silver ones are secret gems because you won't be you won't be in some say in some stages of some of the Crash Bandicoots, you won't be able to get the gem unless you unlock something later on throughout the uh, throughout the game. And one of those are one of those boxes is a Brio one. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Stupid bats. <clears throat> Leave me alone. Wow. But yeah, just stupid mistakes like that is why is why I wanted to try to just do this stage regular for now. Okay, we still got the bat on the end to deal with. Ooh. Thank you. I was gonna say that platform might fall down. What? <laughs> I shouldn't have said fall down. Oh, this part of the board. Oh, come. I don't really understand that, but okay. That was just that was just poor sense of focus on my end. <laughs> Cause I could just rebound back into the gap there, but I didn't because I wasn't watching directly. Alright, one of these tries I am going to stop. Falling off of cliffs. Thanks, but I don't think Aku Aku is going to help me with falling off of cliffs. I mean, he's a great shield for some of these enemies, but. I was about to say, on the Tana deal, I don't think I saw any more Tana masks, or Tana face tokens. And I started at this spot.
Okay, so you just turn into a lump of fruit. Alright, so exactly tell me what I need to do to get there. I mean, granted, all these lump of fruit is only gonna cause me to gain one extra life every time I hit 100, but still. That's not going to help if I keep falling off of these cliffs. There we go. I just had to go on the edge of this. What? Uh, what? It just happened. It's like I clear one obstacle and then the next obstacle gives me all the time. Because at first it was the cliffs, and then it was these things, and then it was this thing. And now I fall off the cliff. I apologize about these 20 minute videos keep being about focusing on one stage. Like I really want to do more than two stages, one or two stages in each video. Which is why I intended all these videos to be 20 minutes because I kind of expected to run through some of these pretty quick. So I don't know what to tell you there. I was about to say, if I die at the very end, I missed so many boxes though. Alright, now he's on the ground. <laughs> the box that broke the kettle. <laughs> Yikes. That's all I got to say. Yikes. At least Coco wasn't in that state. Because <laughs> she only missed 20 boxes there. I think it was 21 boxes or something like that. Temple runs. I guess this will be the last one for the video. Follow the trail of Wampa Fruit. Okay. Okay, the way this was placed in here like this was kind of a bit confusing, to say the least. Okay, that's only the gate though. Mm. Oh crap. I stood right in the gate too. Okay. Oh, at least I can somewhat rely on this drop shadow. Hello? A 
Apparently I can't spin against bats, so... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Here I go falling off the cliffs again. Hopefully this will be the last time I have to record three, uh, three platformer videos in one day. They didn't come this time. Oh, hey buddy, how's it going? Our spider tried to scare me. Ooh. I was making sure one new box is up above. Did I hear a check? No, there was no checkpoint between here and there. Once again, if I'm not saying <laughs> saying anything much, I'm trying to concentrate so I don't lose on the same. I don't fall on the same thing over and over again but yeah that flame lasted a lot longer than I anticipated I thought it was those fires from like that tower climbing stage Oh wait, I thought that was an extra platform. I got all the way back over here and it was like right next to a checkpoint too. It's a great thing I've acquired all of these lives before this point. To stuff that I have already passed. Before those bats come. I keep forgetting about that spider, but it's not like I... keep losing to it or anything. The one thing that I keep forgetting about that comes uh, that comes at that spot or that goes to that spot. Like for for something I keep forgetting about. I haven't really died against it. So I need to know and remember that that is standalone uh, a standalone platform. I'm just going to wait for that fire to extinguish. Uh, Alright, I finally hit the checkpoint. So now... I wasn't really intending to do that. <laughs> but now... <laughs> I can start from here if I die. I 
Yeah, I remember about those darn bats. Sit, follow the boxes. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure I went straight. So why did it launch me to the? Why did it launch me forward? Oh no! Oh no! I was gonna say those bats will come around if I don't hurry. Just making sure I'm not going to lose it. I'll also make sure there aren't any TNT around here. Yeah, that's been. Nope. Back and jump. I wasn't really expecting that, but okay. That looks kind of tricky. Just saying. And there's a checkpoint, so I can not worry about. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna say yikes because look at all those platforms. I got one more crate apparently, so this is the end of the stage, looks like. Yep, and there it is, right up there. Right next to the exit. They got some nerve putting bats right at the very end of the stage, right past the box gym. Ba -da -ba. All right, so we finally got that taken care of. And Aku Aku makes his little side grin. Road to nowhere. Which we will traverse the next video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Thank you.